Hello friends and welcome to this exciting re-encounter with the Bird Dog P200 NDI PDC camera. These amazing NDI cameras are so great with Skahoy controllers because we are also IP enabled. Actually, our controllers are only IP, so anything we talk to is over a single cable, typically PoE powered like you see in this configuration here. Single cable going into this, single cable going into that one. That's a great combination, right? Plus. Our PDC controllers, they have the ability to talk to many other things. So we'll see auxiliary features on this one today, talking to ATEM switches, we'll see uh, how we can also perform actions on a PDC camera, which is not in the camera itself. So we have much to cover. And uh, the PDC Extreme, the controller I brought today, is our flagship PDC controller. It has an amazing um, Hall Effect joystick, really high quality joystick. In the middle, it has a section of buttons for direct camera selection, direct preset selection, direct menu selection, knobs for adjusting settings. And um, if you have watched just a few of our PDC videos, you will know that we put a lot of effort into adding specific control for the features found in the cameras we support. So you'll also see that we actually uh, know um, about the actual features and value ranges in the bird dog camera and we can set those on the knobs up here. And then on the far left of this controller we have a custom developed zoom rocker, we have a custom developed focus wheel and iris knob right here. So, uh, one of the things that I wanted to show you today is something called Cruise Control. And Cruise Control is available across all our PDC uh, integrations. So, it's an addition on top of PDC Control that will um, allow you to operate cameras in a way so that you get more dynamic recordings with a single man operation. We'll get back to that. We also want to talk about how we can control um, external routers. So, imagine. You, you typically have a vision mixer um, attached to your PDC cameras. So you want two things. First of all, you want your PDC operator who has a monitor where he can follow the camera. You want him to see the camera he's operating. And um, I can show you right away. So this is my camera selector right here. When I select camera number two, you see that my screen, the operator screen, will show me camera two, camera three, and back to camera one. Unfortunately, I have only one camera in my demonstration today, this bird dog camera, and the other two sources would be camera two and three if I had them. But you see the point, you want a PDC controller that can also talk to a router or video switcher to show you the camera that you are operating. That's a key feature of any PDC controller and you'll find it on your Skahoy controller. Today it's connected to an ATEM switcher where we use the auxiliary output and you also see the tally lamps which is another key feature. You should be able to see if your vision mixer has the currently selected camera on program or preview. And now we are at it, let's take a look at that. So, um, I'm not the, the producer of the show, so I'm the PDC operator. So, now let's say that the producer puts camera number four on preview. Okay, so four is on preview now. And then he makes a cut. So now we have uh, four is on program and one is on preview. And then he uh, makes a cut again and we're now back and then he choose to go back and select camera number two for preview. So that's the, the preview selector, uh, or sorry, the tally indicators on the PDC Extreme, which shows another essential feature of any PDC controller that you can talk to these external devices. Okay, moving on, we even have, and we're not showing that today, but you have seen that in other videos, we can label presets. Also super great to make it more user-friendly to be a PDC operator. You can put labels like you see in this post from Instagram. By the way, follow us on Instagram. And uh, in this post, you can see how there, there are labels attached to the uh, preview uh, preset recall buttons on the Skahoy controllers. And why? Because we put so much effort into making sure all our controllers are so flexible. Flexibility comes by putting dynamic labels and they they come by the displays we use. So really, we believe in tactile control. You need actual handles. You couldn't control PDC cameras with a mouse on a screen. You, you need to touch the joystick and feel it, feel the zoom rocker. You need to have buttons to keep your eyes on a screen, but you still want flexibility, right? So this is why you will generally see a sprinkle displays all over our controllers. So enough of all the yada, yada, yada. Let's get to work on how the bird dog camera is controlled here. So we are camera number one, that's the bird dog camera. 
And uh, if we move up on the controller, we can start by recalling a preset. So I'll push this button for recalling preset number one. We'll push this button to recall preset number two and preset number three. Okay, let's say that I want to have a new location here. So I'll just position the camera and we can record preset number four right here. So let's go back to number three and then over to the new preset number four right there. So that's all standard. Um, yeah, you see we can operate the camera and one thing I love about the bird dog camera is how they are sensitive to um, the, um, uh, how far I'm zoomed into the picture. So you can see if I zoom uh, pretty far in here. Oh, by the way, see, I have manual focus. This gives me a chance to show you focus. Okay, and you see we have focus speed right there. Manual focus is set up here. And now I'm moving my focus knob here, but you see it's too speedy, right? So we can um, take the speed down a little bit. And now I really need to work it. And that's probably a little bit too much. So I, th I think we'll find the speed somewhere in the middle here and find that Ah, this is pleasant. It's just maybe even a little bit more, right? Ah, right there. So now I can really pull focus. Super nice custom Skyhoy component. This focus wheel is such an amazing component. Um, so that was focus speed. We have PDC speed here as well, but the bird dog camera itself, you just see what happens. I'm at full speed, full swing. Now a full swing on the joystick and still it's actually pretty, um, delicate in the way it moves. Now I have full swing on the joystick and it's moving much quicker. So that's brilliant. This is how PDC cameras should be and Bird Dog did it. So that's that's really good. Um, let's move on to the um, presets. We talked about presets already. One of the exciting features I mentioned was PDC Trace and we put that on the buttons over here. So we have four buttons assigned to PDC Trace and I can demonstrate what it is by just pressing it. So watch the camera and see how it moves, okay? I press this button, it recalls a preset and now it is apparently playing back moves that we have previously recorded for the camera, okay? So that's, you're, you're basically, the, the trace, the movement the camera does is recorded in the controller and is being played back and this feature is not even just for bird dog cameras, it's for any PDC camera we have. So you can enjoy this regardless of you have um, bird dog or Panasonic or Sony cameras or Lumens cameras. It's available in Skyhoy controllers for all of them. We have another trace over here, which is a different route. Let's try that one. And uh, it starts by recalling the preset. Then it has a 40 second trace running at this point in time. And I think I will get a little impatient if we were to see that through to the end, so I'll just stop it. But what about recording a trace? So um, we can do that on trace bank number three. So I'll simply hold down the button, okay? So now we have 60 seconds left to record this trace. And I will now begin to move the joystick. See if I can do this. I should probably be um, trained this a little bit, but let's assume that I have a really nice thing going here. And then we maybe we keep a little pause, uh, and then we move a little bit to the to the right. That's nice, and we zoom out also at the same time. Great, and bring it to a stop. All right. And then I press again to stop. Okay, let's see if we can recall this, okay? So it goes to my preset, and then it starts the movement I just did. And then slowly zoom in, having 30 seconds left of my recording here. And we had the pause, and then we would be panning to the right. There you go, P to Z trace. Pretty easy to understand, right? Easy to operate. And this will, um, and that's another cool thing. Of course, you can change to a different camera. You can set that camera up while the trace is, is, is playing. And this is why with the PDC trace and the cruise control feature you'll see in a moment, you can really make, a single operator can, can make really dynamic productions because he can have one camera automatically operating itself while setting up the next shot. 
And that should probably lead us on to what cruise control is, because while PDC trace is pre-recorded um, pre-recorded traces or tours with the camera, uh, cruise control is something far more spontaneous. So cruise control, just follow this one. I'll now make a, a slow zoom and then I press this button that starts cruise control and in 10 seconds it's gonna stop. So essentially just watch the cameras just slowly zooming until it hits zero and it stops. Okay, so the idea of cruise control is that you can spontaneously start a movement, you hit cruise control, and for another 10 seconds, for instance, this delay is customizable, you will see the camera continue, the pan, the tilt, or the zoom, while you change to a different camera, recall a preset, set up that camera shot, and then you make a cut on your vision mixer, okay? So we have, a, we have two modes of PDC cruise control and the other one is using a flag. So now imagine that you have your PDC controller hooked up with uh, GPI input. So let's uh, imagine you had a foot pedal. While you hold down this pedal with your foot, then it will continue the move while you, uh, and, and then you set up the other camera and you, you finally switch on your vision mixer and then you release the foot pedal and the camera stops moving again. The reason why you want the camera to stop moving is because there's no point in letting it, it uh, drift off to some obscure position because it will take too much time for it to get back to its, its normal presets again. So um, this feature can be demonstrated on the other two buttons. So again, let's then make a uh, slow pan here. Okay, I start the cruise control there, and the way the cruise control will now stop is by me pushing the button just next to. Okay, so you'll see it stop right there. Normally you wouldn't assign that to a button, unless you want it to be a stop button. Yeah, so then it's a stop button, but my point is that in, instead of assigning that to a button, you could um, more uh, subtly um, s assign it to an external trigger from a GPI box. So we have seen some amazing features in Skyhoy controllers, the uh, auxiliary selection, we have seen tally uh, indicators from your vision mixing system, we have PDC trace, we have cruise control up here, we just have general great control of the NDI camera over here. And finally, I just want you to rest assured that we have access to all the other nice features in these cameras. So uh, by the way, we saw focus mode as well. So we have already looked at focus. We have settings here for AV sensitivity, our autofocus sensitivity. If we go to exposure, we have iris mode, the different uh, modes we can set here uh, available. And then um, we have, um, automatic exposure settings set up here. We have white balance where you, you can see we have indoor, we have outdoor, one push uh, tracking, manual white balance and so on. And we can paint this. Keep in mind that for these cameras, you can of course map the painting features to knobs on an RCP, which is the, the, the typical surface you, you use for painting cameras in broadcast. We can move on to uh, image settings like uh, you see um, chroma suppression, noise reduction, picture effect, stuff you find in a lot of PDC cameras. Uh, we have gamma mode here and uh, shutter. And uh, finally, we have knee settings on the final button here. So all these features in the BirdDog camera are available on the Skyhoy controller with the value ranges they assign to them, just like you would expect from the kind of implementations we make. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this exciting. Let us know if you have any questions to, uh, for us to answer about um, this product or the PDC Pro, PDC Fly. They are all enabled with the same powerful features to operate your PDC cameras. Mm -hmm.